Throughout the years, we've seen a lot of different changes. But have you ever thought about some of the things that we say today? We would have never heard some of the words or phrases 30, 40, or more years ago. As we reflect back on those changes, it can be quite entertaining. In today's video, we will take a look at some of the things that we never used to hear. One of the most obvious changes in technology is the cell phone. Today, just about everyone carries one, but that wasn't always the case. If you had one of these, then there's no way that you would ever hear someone say, Where's my phone? If they couldn't find it, we had some serious problems. It was big, bulky, and heavy. Plus, it was attached to the wall with a cord. You weren't going to misplace it or have it fall through the couch cushions. There's no way that you could lose this thing. Another thing people will say today is, I need to charge my phone. You need to do what? What, do you need a calling card for long distance? This old phone wasn't going to lose power and it was here to stay. Well, at least until the cordless or cell phones came in. My phone takes better pictures than my camera. Wait, what do you mean it takes photos? Is your last name Jetson or something? Can you imagine hearing text me in the 1980s? I wouldn't have known what to do. Stamp them with this? throw a book at them? Text was only something that we saw in books. And let's forget about Snap Me. That probably would have looked something like a round of applause. Alexa, what's the weather today? Who in the heck are you talking to? You feeling all right? Hard to believe, but Alexa has only been around for 10 years. Before that, we may have looked at a weather app or a website online. But who could ever forget when the Weather Channel became available? We thought that was the greatest thing, and so much better than looking in the newspaper or waiting for the weathermen to come on television. Today, it's pretty common for people to take photos of their food before they eat it and then post it online for everyone to see. Can you imagine if we did that? Hopefully, we would have had a Polaroid camera, because who wants to wait an hour for the photos and then run around showing people? Our food would have been cold. Hearing something like, let me take a picture before we eat it, was completely unheard of. Imagine going into your favorite coffee shop during the 1970s and saying, I want a venti salted caramel cold foam cold brew one pump classic half foam. They would have thought you were speaking a foreign language. Is hot Folgers okay? If not, we have donuts. Class, let's take out your tablets. What high school am I in? Bedrock? An expression like that would have seemed so archaic just 30 years ago. Now we have all sorts of terminology that we never had before because of different apps or websites. Donate to my GoFundMe page. Wait, what do you mean donate? What kind of organization is that? Oh, it's you. Why don't you just go mow lawns or something like any other kid? I sent you a friend request. Hmm, I didn't know you had to apply to be my friend. I'll Venmo you. The heck you won't. I don't know what that is, but I don't want it. Let's FaceTime. No, sicko, I'm not kissing you. He left me unread. Well, maybe the teacher took the note as it was passed across the classroom. Let's get an Uber. Is that legal? Sounds so dirty. Do you have a Spotify playlist? Well, Dad has so many burn holes from cigarettes in his recliner, I probably could connect all the dots. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh, we don't have any premium channels like HBO. It's too expensive. Let's DoorDash tonight. Oh, is that what they call it now? I love Ding Dong Ditch. Let's stream it. I don't need to go to the bathroom right now, but it's down the hall on the right if you do. Hey, I saw it on Facebook. You saw it on what? Was that at the bookstore? Oh, I love your sweater. Where did you get it? Amazon. Dang, when did you go there? I thought it was hot in the Amazon. I can't believe they sell sweaters. I hit 10,000 steps today. What are you, Rain Man? Why are you counting your steps? Hey, I'm just trying to be healthy. 
What's wrong with jogging or jazzercise? The Wi Fi isn't working. Man, she just had a baby. Take it easy on her. I'm sure she'll go back to work in a few weeks. What's your Wi Fi password? Hey, we aren't swingers. That's a little too personal. If you don't know it, then Google it. Listen, I don't have time to make silly faces. I've got to go to the library and look it up in some encyclopedias. Let's get a selfie. Oh, I'd uh, rather not, especially right here in public. What's wrong with you? You're saying all kinds of strange things. I downloaded the new album. Is it that bad you had to poop on it or did you have an accident? I need to charge my car. Oh man, dead batteries suck. Lucky for you I have some jumper cables and I'll have you up and going down the road in just a minute. Siri. Navigate to the nearest gas station. Who in the heck are you talking to? I'm sure there's one right down the road if you need it. Siri, play me Aerosmith. I'm starting to worry about you. Are you feeling okay? I didn't hear what they said. Can you back that up? Huh. This is live TV, not a VHS tape. Don't you know the difference? Here. Take this tube, spit in it, and then we'll find your grandfather. Well, that sounds promising, and I don't think we'll ever find him, but you don't have to make jokes about it. That's not cool. Today, it's pretty common for kids to call their mom and just about everyone else, bruh. If I would have called my parents that, I probably would have gotten slapped into the next week. I don't know, it's certainly not something that I ever would have said. Another word that kids use today is bussin'. If you would have said that 30 or 40 years ago, we would have just thought that you rode the bus everywhere. But it actually means excellent or good. It's pretty much like us using far out or that's bad back in the day. Speaking of back in the day, there are certain things or phrases that we never would have said. Like, why is there no music on MTV? When it first came out, that's all it was, music. And for the most part, we didn't say things like, this music sucks. Did you ever think that you would hear, gas is only $3.85 a gallon at the Exxon. Heck, most of us couldn't believe it when it rose to over $1 a gallon. As kids, our hero was always Evil Knievel. Because of that, we built some pretty crazy bike ramps and had fun jumping them. We never worried about getting hurt, which is probably why we never heard the phrase, where's your helmet? Safety is something that we are all surrounded by, but we don't realize how much it has changed until we look back. I never really could have imagined the day when I would hear, how many metal detectors does your school have? If you were below the age of 50 in the 1980s, then you probably had neon in your wardrobe. I definitely never heard anyone say, I hate bright colors. Is my hair too big? Those words were never muttered in the 80s. We certainly never heard anyone say, that's enough hairspray. Any home with teenage girls went through numerous cans of hairspray throughout the decade. Something else that no one would have said in the 80s is, those shoulder pads are way too big. At one point or another, some term or phrase will come along that will confuse the previous generations. Someday, these bussin' kids will be old and their kids will confuse them. It's all just part of life. What are some of the things that you used to say that confused your parents or grandparents? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.